Wow, that's quite the outfit you've got on. Yeah, as we can Love- see, you know, we can chat in real time to ChatGPT. And not only that, we can interact with it with uh, video as well. And I swear, like, if you look at Barrett's GPT history, it's all equations like this. <laughs> <laughs> now that you know you can do linear equations, can you yes. show us something more complex? I think so. OK, uh, next let's try something uh, coding related. So let me take out um, a computer for this. OK, so I'm going to open the ChatGPT desktop app like Mira was talking about before. OK, and to give a bit of background on what's going on, so here we have um, a computer. And on the screen, we have some code. And then the ChatGPT voice app is on the right. So ChatGPT will be able to hear me, but it can't see anything on the screen. So I'm going to highlight the code, command C it, and then that will send it to ChatGPT. And then I'm going to talk about the code to ChatGPT. Hey, ChatGPT. Hey there. How's it going? Yeah, it's going really well. I was wondering if you could help me with a coding problem today. Of course. I'd love to help you out. What's the coding problem you're dealing with? OK, I'm going to share with you some code. One second. Sure thing. Take your time. OK, so I just shared some code with you. Could you give me a really brief one sentence description of what's going on in the code? This code fetches daily weather data for a specific location and time period, smooths the temperature data using a rolling average, annotates a significant weather event on the resulting plot, and then displays the plot with the average, minimum, and maximum temperatures over the year. Um, which months do you see the hottest temperatures, and roughly what temperatures do those correspond to? The hottest temperatures occur around July and August. The maximum temperature during these months is roughly between 25 degrees and 30 degrees, 77 degrees Fahrenheit to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. 